Look at our new trailer for version 2.5. I'm so excited. When the Sakura bloom. Okay, Let's I hope go. this is good. <laughs> Here we go. All of Inthanomia is engulfed in a darkness that cannot be dispelled. There have also been reports of monsters, the likes of which no one has ever seen before. Strange monsters? And an all-engulfing darkness? So you're here to help resolve this, hmm? With you joining forces with them, I would say this is a nice surprise, but it's really <gasps> surprising. Encanomia is exceedingly dangerous right now. I was hoping I have oh my god, what are those? The tower seems to hear my wishes. Okay, this is exciting. I actually thought this new place was like over and done with. Oh, Hakushin, cause of this enchantment. Your unrivaled power will be honored eternally. We're getting like chills. <gasps> look at you! Oh, little one, you look a little nervous. Nervous. <laughs> She's so yeah, cool. My attention. Oh my god, she's so cool. She has right cherry on. blossoms. Come on out. That and the pox stuff is awesome. I'm always watching. Good. Good. With this power, no one shall be able to stand in my way. <laughs> she has tails? I didn't see the it tails. Looks like she will no longer allow me to do with this body as I please. Something seems wrong with A. Oh, During no. my absence, I place everything in Miko's hands. But, but this means that I'm placing my god in your capable hands. Please bring her back. What the you wish to make yourself my enemy? Oh my god, we have to find her again? Except worse? I am the everlasting lord, the guardian of eternity. Oh my god, this is gonna be a pain to fight. Oh my god, her outfit looks amazing! Was it her or was it she? <gasps> oh, they're fighting against themselves. Oh my God, the clone. Oh my God, it's like Scaramouche all over again. Come back, everyone. All right, let's talk about that new trailer. So I know a oh, lot of I people mean, have I been would... waiting for Miko. Oh! Yeah, me included. Um, but in the earlier phase of version 2.5, Gai okay. Miko will be available in the Everbloom Violet event wish. So right so in Kokomi, come back. So those of you waiting back. for the chance to pull for Miko, your moment has come. Well, I didn't think Raiden would be back that <laughs> And soon. in the later phase of version 2.5, both the Raiden Shogun and Sangono Kokumi will be returning in their I own know, it's like the Kokumi already and their Raiden Shogun. Their reappearance will be tying in with I the thought it was gonna be like Kazuha or something. In the new version. <laughs> Ooh. Which I mean, like I still love Kazuha, so him not being here is fine. characters are coming our way this time around. And in addition to our new character, we will also have a new <gasps> five-star catalyst weapon available okay, in that's version really 2.5. Kagura's You now have the meta character. Okay, I'm excited to see what she's like. Okay, I love how she attacks. It's so cute. She's like duh, duh. And her ears. You said she had tails, but I have yet to see tails. Oh, I see it now. Oh, okay. Oh, I see the tails. Oh my god. That is so cute. The moon is simply magnificent tonight. We mustn't squander it. Come, join me for a moonlight stroll. I won't take no for an answer. Nice. Yeah. She's really cool. Pretty sure no one would ever turn down a moonlight stroll. Fields a catalyst and manipulates the electro element. She provides a mix of constant damage when off the field, as well as high burst damage when on the field. Miko's elemental skill, Yakan Evocation, Seishio Sakura, causes Miko to move swiftly and leave behind something called a oh. Seishio Sakura. These box-shaped branches can periodically cause lightning to strike nearby. Ouch! 
when Miko unleashes her elemental burst, great secret art Tenko Kenshin, she will unseal nearby Seishio Sakura, destroying their outer forms and transforming them into Tenko Thunderbolts that That's descend cool. from the skies. With her passive talent, the Shrine Sacred Shade, when Yai Miko uses her elemental burst, each Seishio Sakura destroyed resets the cooldown for one charge of her elemental skill. After unlocking the talent and light and blessing, Yai Miko's elemental mastery will increase the damage dealt by the Seishio Sakura. And last but not least, with Miko's talent Meditations of Ayako, when she crafts character talent materials, she has a set chance to create an extra talent material from the same region of a random type. Oh, the nice. The rarity of this material will be the same as the materials consumed during crafting. That crafty lady. Seriously. Totally. Oh wait, my wait, gosh. wait, wait. Does she make extra books? I mean, as she her is talent? a publisher. Oh, oh my god. Oh my I god, that's so cute. That. She makes extra books. <laughs> She's so cool. I absolutely just love her design. I wish Catbox was actually existing. Oh, Thunderbolts. Right? I was oh, HP so scaling. Cool. I, yeah, I and hope I she's how, not like, too squishy. I love how smooth and graceful her fighting style is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I love how she fights. Just like the animations. Tales, please? Yeah. Oh my god. And she Don't does the little fox thing. <laughs> you oh, see that? That's right. No. <laughs> it is said that no one who has witnessed Lady Gucci's tales has ever lived to tell of it. Although they do read her tales. Anyway, you better be careful. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In which case, we better move on to the next part of our program. New yeah, story. Yeah, she's a polyarm. Ooh, I can yay. see that not being as Version 2.5 will be bringing us the continuation of the Raiden Shogun story quest, Imperatrix Umbrosa Chapter Act 2, as well oh as God, a we brand get a new Yimiko story one. quest for Yaimiko, Divina Vulpi's chapter. So, travelers can look forward to more story content coming from both one? of these characters. Oh no. Ooh, awesome. Pyro! So what can players of Shogun's new story quest? Travelers will find themselves encountering quite the formidable enemy. Let's take a closer look at our new enemy for version 2.5. Oh gosh, another new enemy? I just got used to fighting Somebody those dolphin fish things. Is anyone else with me on that? I'm already still just like trying to get used to that. Oh my god. That, this one looks like a bitch to fight. <laughs> I'm just saying. I struggled with Raiden before she was Super Saiyan. And now she's like Super Super Saiyan. Beyond belief. Or whatever the doll version of herself is. Whew. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just wow. Yeah. I love her outfit though. You know how they say. Last in your return, she didn't die. You know what they they make these guys make me think of um Oh god, what's the what's the what what's that game that's coming out? Elder Elden Ring, but like what's the the other games that are similar to that? Oh my god, what Well anyway, it makes me think of those enemy that, that game bro, with these enemies because they move super slow. No, not Bloodborne, the other one. Dark Souls. Yeah, these are like Dark Soul Knights because they like are like are big and they are really slow and they look like a Dark Souls character <laughs> in Kenshin. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be a shadowy husk after fighting these guys. Did you see their weaponry? Yeah, yeah no kidding. Please oh. right, listen to the next part. <gasps> oh my god, it's animated! There's Kazuha! What's going on? <gasps> is that a, is that the brother? Okay, that was cool. Everyone, next we'll be getting <laughs> into the new events travelers can expect to see in version 2.5. Our first event is called the Three Realms Gateway Offering. It's just an ad. Offering. Well, it was a beautiful ad. This event is a little different <laughs> than ones we've seen in the past. The main objective of the event is exploring the map. <gasps> yep. We get a catalyst. This event I wonder if that's going to work exploring for... exploring an event area based yeah, on Nico, Kanomiya. Yeah, you can't get the other one. Travelers will have to brave the corrosive effects of this mysterious darkness in a completely oh. new form of event gameplay. To aid them in their exploration, travelers will be receiving a gadget called the Bokuso Box. This device will help us to resist the corrosive effects and repel the darkness. Opening chests, 
unlocking waypoints, and completing exploration objectives will award travelers something called Light Realm Sigils, which can be offered to the statue on the map. <gasps> Another statue? Increasing the level of your Bokusa box will not only increase your resistance to the corrosive effects, but will also unlock skills to assist you in your exploration. For example, after increasing the Bokuso box to a certain level, travelers may use it to mark nearby chests on your minimap. Right. A oh, Yato? But I want to see a Yato. I'm so excited. The corrosive darkness will accumulate over time, while the energy of the Bokuso box will gradually diminish. Once the Bokuso box's energy reaches zero, you'll be unable to defeat certain monsters in the area. Oh, no. Travelers may select the Recuperate option at the statue to remove the accumulated corrosive darkness and recharge the Bokuso box's energy to full. Yeah. There are also some useful tips that travelers will discover throughout the exploration process. For example, Light Realm cores found in luxurious chests can be used to activate Bokuso Arts, okay. which will also help us in both exploration and combat. Interesting, but tell us how we do this exactly. So, to start with, the event is oh going my gosh, to provide like Mario? preset domains. Travelers will need to reach the target area within a set amount of time, this is like while Mario. collecting as many adventure coins along the way as possible. When making decisions saying. of their own, travelers will be able to add, edit, or remove things in a customizable domain area. While designing an area, That's travelers cool. can freely customize the destination point and the placement of adventure coins within a specified space. Also, so travelers cool. will be able to add a variety of terrain, <sighs> mechanisms, traps, or even buffs in a different places to add difficulty to their custom domain or provide a little assistance to the challengers. Oh, this is juicy. <laughs> <laughs> and additionally, travelers can edit the completion criteria or domain limitations in the settings located on the upper left corner of the editor menu. Now, of course, before anyone will be able to publish the custom domain they've created, they must first complete it. Which makes complete sense. <laughs> you went there. <laughs> I did. Because, you see, you can't be sharing content that you, as the creator, can't even finish. Okay, fair. That I makes mean, sense, but... Can I finish anything? Really? Probably not. <laughs> we believe, I believe you. you can. Mario Maker I mean, Genshin this is, is so really true. Cool. I'm like, this is your Mario own Maker. obstacle course? Yeah. No. Could put fire traps, it's awesome right? finding your own domains. In this event, travelers will be taking on the role of a bartender at <gasps> Deluxe Tavern. Angel I'm sorry, Ship, but I'm really excited about up that. some drinks to familiar faces. Ooh. It'll be up to us to whip up the delicious non-alcoholic drinks. Okay, we'll I'm just saying. start with the foundation for the drink, and then add I other ingredients as flavorings. Travelers will need to add three to five different ingredients, and then follow the instructions to mix the drink and pour it according to the customer's order. <laughs> okay, I really this like is really that. starting to sound like a simulation game, and I am here for it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a so yummy cool. one. Yes. In addition I to some established kind of recipes, some drinks will require travelers to experiment according to some hints. It's up to travelers to put on their bartender's hats and experiment with different combinations. After successfully mixing a special really type fun. of drink for the first time, its drink recipe will be unlocked. Travelers may collect recipes to unlock an event-exclusive name card. <laughs> I want the you name know, card. I love the It's pretty entertaining to see the traveler mixing drinks. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it totally is. And in addition to mixing drinks, travelers will have the opportunity to meet with some familiar characters throughout the event story. By completing short interactions with characters and collecting drink recipes, oh my travelers God. will not only gain some nice rewards at Angel Share, but also spend a fun and relaxing time with their favorite characters. That's I'll drink so to cute. that. Me too. Another return of the overflowing mastery <sighs> event. I Be need sure that. Be sure to check what your characters require and I need save somebody up some like resin <laughs> to get those talent books. ascension materials you need. Next, we have some exciting info about a future version to share with everyone. There is a massive area that travelers have been waiting to explore, <gasps> which has already been part of the map for some time is now. Is the chasm? In our future update for version 2.6, travelers will be able to delve into the chasm. Oh my god. What? Oh, wow. 2.6 so is the chasm? Can a completely new area to explore in the version following 2.5. Oh, Oh my god, man, chasm, my beloved OG. I'm excited. Now, Are they going to sure show anything? I'm sure lots of players have been curious about what we'll find down there. Yeah, here, as a sneak peek, <gasps> we have some concept art to reveal okay, along with art, a I'll basic description of the area. Ooh. This is the oh! surface of the chasm, with I jagged rock be walls more containing purple. strange stones and mysterious ores. The mine is rich with glazed sand crystals, a precious raw material often used in making Liu's porcelain. 
Because of special geological conditions, the soil and vegetation in this area have a distinctive it's color. It's very red. Here, we see the chasm's underground mines area. Ooh. The pathways of the chasm's underground mines are intricate and complex, and are treacherous to navigate thanks to recent developments. The mines are not only rich in minerals, but I the can't special wait. environmental so conditions have given rise to unique fluorescent plants. <sighs> More of glowy course, plans. danger oh, also awaits in the castle. That's another serpent thing. Travelers will need to keep an eye out for the ruined serpent that inhabits the area. This ruined machine like that looks onyx, like a giant serpent has mean. recently come alive for reasons unknown. It slithers quietly in the shadows of the mine to pave a way to the known world for unknown dangers buried in the depths of the chasm. Judging from its appearance right, and I'm movement, it looks like to be a, a digging MUC machine of some around. sort. Oh boy. I really don't want that serpent to ruin me, right? It also feels like there's some history to the chasm, or perhaps some deeper story behind it. Yeah, there totally is. Whoa. So legend has it that Ajdaha and Rex Lapis fought their battle here. The ancient battlefield wow, has remained parts. to this day as a reminder for everyone. Once the chasm is available, travelers will be able to explore the depths and discover what secrets await in the darkness below. Oh, wow. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> That sounds all amazing. Okay, but we have covered a lot of details for both the coming version and a future update. So why don't we take another break? 